Fresh from his success with opening batsman in the Rating Plus chase at the weekend, talented young trainer Harry Fry was back among the winners at Plumpton today with promising mare Violin Davis. The 3 to 1 on shot jumped nicely throughout to come home a very easy winner, scoring for the third time over fences. Jockey Noel Feely said she did what they expected, enjoyed the better ground, and she'll be heading to Newbury for the mare's final, which has been the plan all season. Final fence and a short run in for Violin Davis, and she's over safely. She's clear by about 10 lengths to in second animation, and so it is going to be three straight wins over fences for Violin Davis, 46 for the season for Noel Feely. Violin Davis wins. In second place, animation. Back in third will be Southway Star, and in fourth, free falling. Another trainer in fine form is Venetia Williams, who continued her terrific run to land the double on the day, taking her total number of winners for the season to 71. Her first winner, Leviathan, made nearly all to take the two-mile maiden hurdle in the hands of Aidan Coleman. The short price favourite had by far the strongest form in the race, having finished second to Tominator on his last start. Little Dutch girl was unlucky and second, having been hampered at the second last. And it's Leviathan who leads the way. He's at the last now, crashes his way through it. But he was clear by about three lengths to our man Massini. On the near side, little Dutch girl and Shashuga is back in fourth. They've still got 150 yards to go. Leviathan is out in front, pushed clear by Aidan Coleman and racing the line. Leviathan gives Aidan... Williams completed her double on the day with Jupiter X, who landed the amateur riders handicap over three and a quarter miles. Winning jockey Mr Biddick in the yellow colours made the long drive from Cornwall well worthwhile and despite a few mistakes early on, the 10 to 11 favourite won pretty readily in the end. Mr Biddick thought it took him a lap to warm up and added that it's a great training performance from Venetia Williams. Jupiter Rex is at it, shortens into it but jumps it well by two and a half lengths to Massini Sunset, back in second who's not going down without a fight. Jupiter Rex being driven out here by Will Biddy and it's a double for Venetia Williams. Jupiter Rex wins, it's a four-timer. Massini Sunset in second. And... Tornado in Milan made all under Paul Maloney to score an easy victory in the two-mile handicap hurdle for trainer Evan Williams. The two to one shot ran behind Mr. Mall at Taunton when finishing third and outclassed his rivals here. Maloney said he loved him after winning a bumper on him and hopes he'll progress into a nice chaser. Tornado in Milan leads by a couple of lengths, runs down the final flight but gets over it safely to Enge in second, in third Sir Fred Lott, in fourth the Grey, Nemo Spirit but with just another hundred yards to go, it's Paul Maloney and Tornado in Milan to give Maloney his 48th of the season. Tornado in Milan continues the surge of favourites today. And finally, Anteras won the bumper over two and a quarter miles for trainer Sophie Leach. It was jockey Paul Maloney's second winner of the day. Anteros and Anteros has now gone clear and it's Anteros now by about three lengths. Staying on really gamely in second is Cannon Fodder on race course debut and he's now making Anteros have to work because Cannon Fodder is putting in a power pack finish. They've got a hundred yards to go. Anteros is all out at the end, but Anteros makes it two out of two. Cannon Fodder ran huge on debut in second. Son of the King in third.